Some interesting numbers here as voters will decide the state's highest office with Democrat Jay Inslee seeking a third term. The Republican challenger is Lauren Culp, the police chief of the town of Republic. Let's get to the numbers as they show that as time has gone on, voters are warming to Lauren Culp, but there is still a significant gap between the challenger and the incumbent. Survey USA conducted the statewide poll for King 5 asking 850 adults if the election were held today, who would you vote for? Of likely voters, more than half picked Jay Inslee, 40% back Lauren Culp. That is a 14 point gap. 6% are undecided. Culp outperformed Inslee, in particular in eastern Washington. The sampling error on the poll, 5.2%. But let's take a look at who won last week's debate. This poll, what we like to say, went live across the state the morning after the debate. And of those people who watched, Lauren Culp gets the win with 32% saying he did the better job overwhelmingly in his favor for voters over the age of 65. Metro Seattle voters also thought he won. Inslee garnered 29% of respondents However, more than a third of those asked say there was no clear winner or were not sure. We also asked this. After watching the debate, which best describes you? You can see more than 40% of people who already plan to vote for Culp or Inslee still plan to do so. A small amount plan to change their vote. 2% of Culp supporters now backing Inslee and 3% of Inslee's camp now choosing the Republican candidate. Not much movement here showing most voters have already decided which oval to fill out on the ballot. And regarding that question about which gubernatorial candidate people plan to vote for, more men than women back Culp by four points and more women than men back Jay Inslee by 30 points. That's a significant number. Ballots are being mailed out this week in most counties.